Welcome to Biz Roanoke. On this show, we're going to be talking about National Hispanic Heritage Month, and we have with us Dr. Elda Stanko Downey. Elda is the founder and the CEO of Roanoke Spanish. Welcome, Elda. Thank you, Lisa. Hi. Hi, nice to see you. Great to be with you today. Thank you very much for your time today. And would you take a few minutes and just um, talk to us about your business and um, we love your business in the city of Roanoke. So talk to us about Roanoke Spanish and how it got started. Absolutely, so we started Roanoke Spanish a little over two years ago, and what we saw was a need in the community for cultural intelligence services, which in ba very basic terms is simply language and culture skills to communicate effectively. And so we knew that there would be individuals interested in practicing their Spanish language skills, but also businesses who needed those language skills as well as cultural components to make their businesses run smoothly, whether here locally locally, regionally, or abroad. And where is the location of the business? So we are located mainly in the Patrick Henry Hotel in the mezzanine level, that's our main office, and we do our classes and workshops at the CoLab in Grandin. In Grandin, okay. And um, talk to us a little bit about the economic develop or the impact of the business on economic development in the city of Roanoke. Absolutely, so as I mentioned, we bring to the table skills and uh, resources for businesses locally who are employing Spanish-speaking folks as well as uh, folks from a different cultural background. So that helps us in the local economy to make sure these people are happy in their workplace, workplace is flowing smoothly. We also work with uh, companies who do business abroad, and so we help them with either the cultural component if folks are traveling abroad to be prepared to do business abroad, or if they're exporting goods or services, how to make that flow smoothly. So for example, some of our clients are the technology companies. Uh, if they're exporting a product, we can do anything from a basic translation of a manual. So as they're selling the product, they can put that component in there to anything that involves shipping and exporting, anything that needs a translation or an explanation of how business is done abroad in Latin America or Spain. And that service is huge in, in Roanoke and mm -hmm. it's, um, it's so good to have that service here now. Absolutely. So, thank you for doing that. Um, talk to us a little bit about the Hispanic um, population, do you feel like there will be a growth in the Roanoke Valley of the Hispanic population in, in years to come? I think so, absolutely. When we started the business, we could see that growth from the 10 years prior to the start of the business. And we had some data indicating what it would be looking like today. Mm -hmm. I think that it has the growth has exceeded that data. So we are just working with some new data to see what the new statistics are, what the new projections are. But it's definitely growing very, very quickly. Great, great. Um, tell us um, if we have viewers that are interested in learning more about Roanoke Spanish, how can they do so? And also, I guess you have classes coming up in the near future? Absolutely. So the easiest way to find out about us and our services is our website, RoanokeSpanish.com. You can follow us on Facebook for updates as well as a lot of useful resources that we put on our Facebook, our Twitter as well. Uh, we are here at the Patrick Henry. Uh, you can stop by right. and you can call us. Phone numbers are on the website as well. And for uh, individuals and families who are interested in Spanish classes for adults or for children. We have our fall session starting in September and all the information is on the website and you can register on the website as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. Absolutely. We appreciate it. And we'll be right back. Welcome back. We are with Miguel Liendo. Miguel is the owner of Lenore's restaurant um, in downtown Roanoke. Welcome, Miguel. Thank you, Lisa. It's nice to have you. It's very nice to have you here. Thank you very much. So talk to us about Lenore's, um, your, your business. Tell us about that. Well, uh, we've been in business already for four years. We started this business in June 2012, right. and uh, we started as, a, as an Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, I, the, I don't know if you you know I, I came from Grace's place that was my, my sister on that place, mm -hmm. and I, it was where I learned about this this business. I fell in love how 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 to, to run this business, and uh, it came the opportunity to open my own restaurant. I, I came and opened this one. And we start with the, the, the Italian food because we, we, we love that. We, I love Italian food. I love Italian food. And uh, <laughs> I tell you, it happens that uh, I'm from Venezuela and uh, my food is, I, I, I love it, uh, my, the, the food from Venezuela. And I start bringing out uh, food from them. And uh, a little bit of the time I was uh, pulling out the arepas. <laughs> I got the love of arepas. And, uh, 
people are still liking it. I start ordering more, more and more. And uh, now, uh, amazingly, the business uh, is selling more. Almost 40% of my business is Venezuelan food. Venezuelan food. food. Okay. And uh, I, I really love what is happening. Well, great. I need to come mm -hmm. try some of the Venezuelan food. Absolutely. Yes. You, you, you Get away from the pizza. Try the Venezuelan food. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, I, I didn't start with this just because I was scared to the people uh, don't because never heard about it, don't, right. don't want to try it. Yeah. But um, I was I was wrong. People really really like to try different things, and uh, now I find out that I, they like the Venezuelan food. Very good. And tell us about where the a restaurant is located. Well, this side I'm in downtown Rana. Okay. okay, this is a on 128 Campbell Avenue, right? Southwest. Uh -huh. But it's a, I think it's the best part of downtown because it's, it's getting on the side where everything is uh, growing. Right. Um, we are close to Ronald Times, well, from the new building Ponce de Leon, and next to the top building. I, I think that we we are in, in great right. location. Right, and you had a smaller. Portion and you expanded, and this is your new I, area. I start with that side of, right. uh, and that was very, very, very narrow. I only, I only have 27 seats, right. and uh, this side came available, and uh, I couldn't refuse to, to get into right. it. And now this is what I got. And what do you contribute your success to here? I believe the the, the, the love I feel for food. I like I like to eat. I like to cook. I really love to cook, and um, I believe that that passion um, drives me through 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 that. I'm still working on the success of this business, uh, but I think I, we we're doing pretty good so very, far. Very very good. So if individuals, our viewers, want to learn more about um, Lenores, how can they find information about you and your hours? And uh, I think that the best way is go to Facebook, type Lenore Restaurant, and uh, they're gonna find everything about us. Uh, I'm not from my, my 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 point of view, from the people that come and eat here and point of view. Right. And I think that will will tell you more about, about us. Very good. Thank you so much for joining us today and I'll be by to get some Venezuelan food. Great. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Welcome back. We are with Rosario Bird. She is the owner of Rosario's Boutique and Hair Salon in the city of Roanoke. Welcome, Rosario. Thank you. Welcome for being here with me today. Yes, and thank you for having us today. So you have this beautiful business um, located on Williamson Road. Can you tell us about the business and when and why you started the business here? I've been here for 25 years. I have a lot of I have two daughters, uh -huh. and we always want to participate in the community, in the Latino community. We have a lot of traditions and customs. Right. So I decided to open Rosario's Boutique and Hair Salon to help the Latino community to be more close to the um, customs and traditions. Mm -hmm. So I opened the boutique. The boutique offers children clothing for special occasions like birthdays, baptisms, first communions, um, quinceañera. Um, we have um, accessories for weddings that we cannot find in another stores here in Roanoke. We used to get things from New York mm -hmm. or North Carolina. Right. My mother used to send it from Mexico. So then is when I started with the idea to have something here in Roanoke where people don't have to go too far to get them. And a lot of times when I can find things soon enough, mm -hmm. I will make them myself because I know how to make dresses and I know how to do a few more um, accessories. And the hair salon is what I've been doing for 25 years. I work in the hair business okay. and then I decide, well, if this boutique is not working, it's so then I would do hair at the same time. And then I look and I find this beautiful big place on Williamson Road. Right. And I decide to combine the two business together. And that way the customers can come to just one place, I guess. One stop shopping. One right stop here. shopping yes. here in Rona. And you have some um, beautiful 
dresses and for the christenings and you have pillow baby pillows but you also have some items I noticed for baby showers so if anyone's having a baby shower right. there's some nice um, things here to add to the shower mm -hmm. um, and so you've got a very nice assortment of clothing for children and it's unlike um, you know clothing I've seen it's hard to find pretty and nice uh, event clothing for children. So you've got some very nice pieces here. Mm -hmm. um, talk to us a little bit about um, the success of your business. What contributes to the success of your business? Well, I've been um, sewing since I was six years old. Oh, wow. So that is what I would like to do. And um, so here I get to do things that I like and enjoy. And um, Honesty and a lot of work. Yes, a lot of hours to work. Um, talk to us a little bit about, um, we talked about the one-stop shopping, but are there other benefits to having two businesses in one location? Well, I get to be at the same place at the same time. So I, that way I work and watch over the two businesses. At one time. At so. one time, yeah. yes. And if individuals would like to learn more about your business, how can they find information about Rosario's? Well, they can always visit us at Facebook, Ros Boutique de Rosario. Okay, and what is yeah. your address here on Williamson Road? 4820 Williamson Road. 4820 Williamson Road. And our phone number is 540-366-2007. Okay, and Rosario, thank you so much for your time today, letting us come into your beautiful store, and um, we look forward to seeing you soon. Well, thank you very much to you. Thank you, and we'll be right back. about the businesses we've talked about celebrating National Hispanic Heritage Month, please give me a call. My name is Lisa Soltis. My telephone number is 540-853-1694, or you can email me at lisa.soltis at roanokeva.gov. Thank you.